Hey guys, this is Matt Cipriano. I just wanted to give you a quick tip and a trick on how to make different chord uh, formations. Some of you guys have learned E minor like this with the first and the second finger, and you've done it for years. And some of you guys are trying to learn how to go from E minor to A minor. Well, a, a quick trick is to change fingers, go from the first and second to the second and the third. And the reason why is because the second and the third are active fingers that used that are used in the A minor chord. So for instance, instead of going like this to that, you go this way to that. It's a lot easier to do it that way. And when you do, you'll find out that you're able to make chord formations and chord changes a lot quicker. But if you don't do it like that, it's just gonna be a little bit more difficult. But that's a tip and a trick for you to use. Go ahead and try it and do it on a bunch of chords. Don't just use one chord formation and one fingering style. You can use as many as you like.